The Boundary Waters Canoe Area is an untouched wilderness that stretches across a large portion of northern Minnesota. Activists and adventurers Dave and Amy Freeman are living in the Boundary Waters for a full year to promote the importance of keeping the BWCA pristine. In the middle of March, we visited with the Freemans, and we brought along Ben Weaver, the Twin Cities musician, as part of a resupply trip. Ben frequently tours by bicycle, and this time he rode from Ely to our entry point. That's where we met up with him, and we hiked several miles to meet Dave and Amy. Thawing our toes and drying out our layers, we talked with the Freemans about their experience, nearly six months into their year-long expedition. So we're about a week away from the halfway mark. We've been to about 140 lakes so far, and we've seen packs of wolves and northern lights and just all sorts of amazing things. It's been a pretty mild winter. The coldest we've had is about minus 30. And, um, but you know, we work as dog sledding guides all winter long, yeah. so we're used to being out in the cold. Uh, so with a heated tent and a wood stove and proper clothing, we've been able to stay, stay comfortable. When I thought about the important work that Dave and Amy are doing, and um, there's, a, there's a kind of a crossover with the work that I've been doing in trying to give voice to the quiet places and the land and the water. Cause we all we all live downstream. We all live downstream. For me, I see a metaphor with with the fact that we need we need wilderness and quiet places to go and restore ourselves, and we need art uh, in our lives, whether it's music, writing, dance, whatever it is. Uh, I think it it offers that same kind of reflection and space to reconnect to you know our own roots and i followed the sound of water like wind through bullet holes till i found an old grizzly he said i'm running out of room to roam let me tell you a story well i'll draw it with my knife we ain't the only ones on this land trying to survive thanks for, so much for playing yeah but yeah you know we've had a lot of resupplies but this is definitely a unique one I think from all the resupplies, you know, one of the best parts about it is that they uh, leave us feeling energized because it allows us to interact with people that really care about the wilderness and, and want to see it protected and remind us like why we're out here. Um, in many ways, that's as important if not more important than the actual, you know, calories that they're dropping off. It's really special to have you out here uh, not bringing calories. but bringing inspiration and uh, motivation. I'm sure that will stay with us a long time after you leave. Whatever you dump in that ocean, I'm gonna pull back on the tide. Why do I ramble, you ask? It is in defense of the quiet places, the primitive voices only found in snowfall, the words only spoken round fires between cactus and lost ocean. Since it is in their nature to be quiet, we must make noise for these places everywhere defending them on all fronts, for as we lose wildness, we lose vitality. <laughs>